Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gamma QSA. In this video, we're going to talk why the process matters. So, uh, if you didn't see my prior uh, video, I recommend you to go and see it. So that way you can see since the beginning uh, all the series of computer classes that I'm making, how to become a computer technician. So, in this class, we are going to talk about the nine uh, steps that they are basic for any computer and you will understand uh, much better uh, overall. So, first, first of all, computers, <laughs> they, they work with electricity. So that is basic, uh, po the step number one would be starting the, the computer. So you turn on the computer. Okay, great, wonderful. Number two, processing, getting, uh, getting ready. So what does it mean? I'll say, so when you start the computer, the computer will start booting up something. It doesn't matter if it is if it is Windows or if it is something else, Linux or any other operating system. So every computer, and so, uh, they have some sort of operating system. So they that way you can see something uh, on the screen. Even if you start the computer and the computer doesn't have, let's say, a desktop computer or a notebook computer, and it doesn't have any hard drive at least it has a BIOS. So the BIOS, it, it means basic input output system. And at least you will see something on the screen. So if you're thinking, well, I don't care. Yeah, all the computer uh, has a BIOS. A BIOS. Uh, no, <laughs> it's not like that. So I'm going to show you something that I have here. This is a Raspberry Pi a 3. Uh, in the future might be another models, but uh, in this case, if you have a, one of these computers, I mean, they cost uh, $35. They are, this, this one is a quad core, 1.2 gigahertz, if I'm not mistaken, and one gig of RAM. So the thing is, you, you, you connect some electricity here, so you, you power it up, step number two, and um, process getting ready. The thing is, if you don't insert any, SD card here, you will not you will not see anything on the screen. The screen will it will it stay uh, black or blank or black. <laughs> you, so you will think, well, it doesn't work or there is something wrong with this. No, this computer doesn't have any BIOS, so it will not show anything on the screen. So that is why it's basic. Getting uh, processing, getting uh, ready, the, that is uh, very important. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do anything with the computer. Okay, no, uh, stage uh, number three, it will be uh, you start uh, typing something, moving the mouse, doing something with the computer. So that is the, the basic, once the computer boots up and you have maybe Windows, and then you will want to do something. Maybe you, you go to the start, a menu or maybe you double click on Chrome, Firefox to browse the, the web or do whatever. So that will be the basic input or in case if you are working with the BIOS, you press delete and then you will see some options. So you can boot up from the DVD, hard drive, a jump drive or whatever. So that is, it will be the, the basics. Uh, number four, processing. Uh, your command. Okay, so you type, let's say, like I said before, in the other example, you press delete, and then it will process your command, and then it will show you the, the value. So you can do whatever you want, or in this case, I don't know, if you have a Windows up and running, uh, you double click on, on the uh, browser, it will process your command, so it will open up uh, the software so you can do something else. So uh, step uh, stage number five or step number five it will be processing parts uh, it will send out the the output so yeah so you will see something on the screen it might be that or it might be something else maybe you want to print and you will not see something on the screen if the programmer uh, di uh, didn't want it, didn't want you to see anything on the screen so just press uh, the, you press the button uh, the print the printer and you will print something. So that will be the number five. The number six, output device uh, shows a um, result. So it means, okay, so you will see the result. Like I said, maybe if it, if it is a printer, you will see something 
that comes on the paper or something on the screen or whatever. So that will be the step number six. And uh, number seven, repeat step uh, three to six until you finish your work. So let's say you're here, you start uh, with a word and then you, you double click on word and then you start, it will start processing your command and then uh, processing the, the, the part and will send the output and it uh, will be number six, uh, output device. Uh, uh, output device uh, shows result. And then let's say that you type H, like hello, and then I, uh, and then you, you have hi, and then like that, uh, you keep uh, repeating the process all over again until you finish your work. So uh, number eight, like I said, save your work. You say, okay, I have my letter, great, or I finished browsing the web or whatever. If you are browsing, usually you don't save anything, but let's say you're on Word, then you, you save the work, the, the work, and then number uh, number nine, you shut down the computer, and that's it. So that is uh, why it's important. So if you are working with Mac, you're wor working with PC, or maybe any other device, maybe a, a Raspberry Pi or whatever, you know that you will have uh, all this uh, process, all these steps. So you you will know how to repair and uh, what to expect uh, about a computer so i hope you have enjoyed this small class remember subscribe to my channel click like leave your comment and see you next time bye